welcome to the world of bots, the unstable. Let's take a closer look at the modules. The engine. The engine grants the bot the ability to move and jump. You can increase the movement speed or the jumping speed. The wrapper grants the bot the ability to collect energy, to feed, to repair, to grow and to build. You can increase the repair amount or the range. The gun. The gun is used to fight enemy bots. You can increase the damage or the range. The hull. Hull grants you more hit points or more cargo space. The shield. Shield reduces incoming damage. Shield can protect you from overhits or underhits. Every bot will need a script to operate. To craft a script, drag and drop the logic box into the logic grid. The script runs from left to right, line by line, from top to bottom. If you leave a gap in a line, everything after the gap will be ignored. Empty lines will be skipped and the next line that has something to run in it will be run. You can also craft callable lines by dropping the function into the grid. Called lines are not run by default, but only when they are called. You can push your script and module changes into the server and you can pull them from the server. The green group, the do commands. Support is used for assisting friendly bots. It repairs, building assistance, energy feeding and energy collecting. Build is very similar to support, with only exception Will command bots can build new bots. Attack is used for attacking hostile bots. Let's craft quickly a support bot. With that I drag and drop the support command into the logic grid. I will also add one engine and a wrapper. And I will make it smaller. I will enter a sector and drag and drop the bot into the space. As newly built bots have zero energy, the first thing they will do is collect energy. So this bot started to move towards an energy object st to start collecting energy. Once his cargo is full, he will start to support every friendly target that he can find in this sector. The blue group, the traveling commands. Location is used to specify a specific system and sector. The bot is used to jump to your own bots. Let's build quickly a bot that can move around. For that I drag drop the location block into the grid. I will add an engine, because without an engine a bot cannot jump and move. I will craft quickly another bot so we can demonstrate later the bot movement. I'll drag and drop the bots into the space. As you can see, one bot disappeared. His location is marked under his name, so he's in System 1, Sector 1. So it jumped directly where I ordered him to jump. By clicking on the bot, I can go to the system and sector where the bot is. Now I will replace it with a bot command and I will scroll up and down to change the number to the correct number of the bot. I will push the changes to the server. First the bot will upload the changes and configure itself. Once it's done it will jump to bot 2. As the bot 2 was in system 1 sector 6 I can see the bot is in system 1 sector 6. I will go to it. This way, we can order a bot to move around in the universe. Two commands and location commands can be very well used together. We can order a bot to support at a specific location. This command will order the bot to jump to System 1, Sector 1 and support every friendly bot in that sector. Even better is a roaming command. With this, the bot will jump to all the sectors 
till he finds a support target and he will support it. If he will have no one to support, he will continue to jump through the sectors. By using the bot command, the bot will jump to bot number 4 and support it, wherever the bot number 4 might be. If the bot number 4 jumps, this bot will follow. The yellow group, the value objects. With these, I can ask for specific values. For example, the self block. I can ask for the bot's hit points, hit points ratio, energy amount, energy ratio, size, speed, target, where they, the bot has a target, and whether the bot is under fire. I can ask for the same values of the bot's target, how far it is, how much hit points it has, the hit points ratio, energy amount, energy ratio, size, speed, target, this one is tricky, the target's target, and if the target is under fire. Then I have the number value with this, I can just put a number if I need to check certain value against certain value, and the percentage. The yellow value blocks will become meaningful if used together with the grey logic blocks. So I can start a conditional checking. If the bot's hit points are smaller than, let's say, 200. If that condition is true, I can do support. Else, attack. This line will tell the bot to check his hit points. If they are under 1 200, he will support, otherwise it will attack. And the last group, the object collections. The object collections are used for counting the number of specific objects, or for querying for a valid and suitable target. Just like that, this will count the number of friendly bots in the sector. But I can also change it. In the simplest way, I could do this. If the number of friendly bots in the sector is smaller than the number of hostile bots in the sector, jump to location once 5, because my base is there and it's safe there. For this, I can check very well if a specific sector is safe enough or whether we have enough friendly bots to tackle the enemy, whether we should attack or escape. The other way of using object collections is for querying for a target. This can be done like this. All the negative, all the hostile bots in the sector, and let's take hit points ratio, or well, let's take hit points. This command will query through all the hostile bots and will return the bot with the lowest hit points, and I will target it. This way I can get targets by specific value. I could take it by distance, hit points, hit points ratio, energy, energy ratio, size, even speed because if the enemy bot is very fast, I will never catch it, and they shouldn't target very fast bots. Same goes for friendly bots. I could target the bot with the lowest hit points and start to support it. It's a very wise choice. The energy object collection can be used for querying whether a sector has energy objects or not, for example. If there are any energy objects, support. Else, 
continue patrolling. So this line will do if the sector has any energy object in it, because zero means he has none. To support, support also means collect energy. If the sector did not have any energy object, then trigger that patrolling command and jump to next sector. This way you can easily patrol through our system to find the sectors that have still energy left in them. You can use the object collection blocks together with value blocks to query for specific value targets, like this target the bot whose hit points are smaller than my hit points. Or this will return the first target that hit points are lower than mine. 